What's good YouTube, Justo Farm here. And today for you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to change your trailer towing chains, guys. If you guys see my other video, I made a walkthrough of this carry-on trailer that I bought from Lowe's, guys. But today, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to change these chains. If you guys can see right away, these chains are already too skinny. They're just way too thin. And they're just not long enough for me to make a cross pattern when I wanna hook it up to the Hummer and whatnot, guys. So I went to Princess Auto, guys, and I picked up some 3 8 heavy duty chain. I believe this is max close to 3,000 pounds or something like that. And these are about three foot lengths total, or three foot exactly length total, guys. I paid around five or six dollars a foot. It wasn't that bad. And I also went to pick up some 3 8 hooks as well, guys, to use it on one end. And on the other hand, it's just gonna be a regular hook that's gonna go into this right here, if you guys can kind of see. It's just gonna be a regular piece. So let me just quickly show you guys the under part right here and how we're gonna start removing it. All right guys, so I'm underneath the trailer. Not too sure if you guys can see, there's like this pin right here and there's a pin right there. So you pretty much wanna use like a needle nose plier and just bend this pin out and you just wanna slide it out and this little nut kind of bar right here would slide out and it would just slide right out of the loop of the chain and you would attach the next chain. So let me just quickly slide one of these pins out right here and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so I bent this pin and I just pulled this pin out. As you guys can see, that side right there still needs to be bent so it can be pulled right out. I got it the clip right here. So now you would just slide this pin right here and it comes right out of the loop, guys. So same thing for the next chain, guys. You technically just grab your chain, fit it through the loop here. Put this in here and if you go from the bottom right here you could see yeah perfect hold it right there thank you and then you would just slide this loop part right in through the chain and as you guys can see it's attached just like that and then you would slide your pin right back in and you would just bend it like so just like I did to that one so let me quickly change these up and I'll show you guys exactly how they look so I got both chains on and I got like the bolts kind of facing me. So I'm going to be upgrading from using that old clip to these brand new ones and they're a little bit more bigger. And they fit exactly in the hole nice and snug. So I'm just going to shove those in and just show you guys how I'm going to fold them and whatnot. So I got them folded in and put in and all that if you guys can see. So I just use the nose head plier and I just put them in. So now if I just uh, get up and just quickly show you how the chains look now. So now they're definitely a bigger improvement compared to these chains. If you guys can just see the size comparison. Definitely made a bigger improvement guys in size comparison as well. And now guys the next step would just be installing the hook on the end of this chain right here guys if you guys can see it's a 3 8 chain so i picked up some 3 8 chain hooks right here guys the same similar uh pin style setup i was trying to say with the chain i mean with the hook right here guys if you guys can see there's a right there there's that pin as well i forgot what these are called clevis pins or whatnot and then you would just pull that pin out and pull that rod right out and we would just hook that up into the loop of the chain over there. So let me pull that out and let me show you guys hooking this up. All right guys, so I'm just gonna use my nose head pliers and just squeeze that and then just pull this out. Oh. Let me grab that. Set that down right there. Set my pin down. Now to grab my chain. Make sure it's straight and it's not like turned and whatnot. And we'll just line that up guys. And we'll put the bolt in. So like I said, you put it in and like do, just like that. And you guys can see, I am using a 3.8 grade 30 grab hook with latch. It's a grab hook with latch. So this is a grade 30 chain, if I'm not wrong. And so also for this, I can put this same one back in there, but you guys can see there's lots of room. I'll most likely just upgrade it to one of these bad boys 
right here on the floor. You guys can see a little bit longer makes a huge difference. Let's go put that in. Hold it. Let's fold it over a little bit, guys. And then you would just fold this back down like so. And you can just grab the plier on both ends like so. And just squeeze down. And there you go. We got a fairly good lock. It's not going nowhere. And this is done, guys. So now we got our grade chain hooked up. And you guys can just see the difference. So now we can actually hook it up to our trailer going down this way and whatnot. Right now this hook is here so it's, it's kind of hard for me to... I would be hooking it up just like this. You guys can see but that hook's just bent like that so I wasn't really using that. But if I were to show you on that side, if you want to show them right there, it just hooks just like that. So it fits perfect. You do want to make sure for your vehicle you're using whatever hooks work right for you guys and make sure your hooks match with your chain guys. So I'm just going to quickly install the hook for the next chain and then I'll show you guys how it looks hooked up to a trailer. So the job's done now. We got both hooks hooked up. It's better than before. You guys can see. Huge difference guys. Huge difference. Definitely recommend this upgrade guys. Get Make your trailer more safer. It's definitely better for the drive. You feel more reliable. So let me show you guys how I'm going to hook these up cross now. So this one is going to go right here, easy as that, crossway, and then this one's going to come right there, easy as that, cross. I know, you, I know what you guys are saying, my chains are hanging kind of low, I can always just turn them up, like so. You guys can see, and that, there you go, and it's higher up. So that's just to show you guys the cool unique possibilities and whatnot. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure I leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment and rate and leave any questions if you guys have any questions on how and where I got everything from guys. The total cost of this update was around, I'd say 30 to 40 bucks range, right? There we are. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And check out my other YouTube videos guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this project.